Arr, hold on to your telescope, space rat! Scientists have made an astonishing discovery. They've found the ancient heart of the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> but what is this ancient heart? And what does it tell us about the history of our galaxy? Let's find out. Uh, is that it? Yes, and thank you, Captain Jack. Uh, my pleasure. What can I say? He's a space pirate. Now, the Milky Way isn't just a candy bar, but a majestic spiral galaxy that's home to billions of stars, planets, and other celestial objects. And it's all spread out over a distance of about 100,000 light years. The Milky Way has a distinct shape, with a central bulge and spiral arms that extend out from it, kind of like what I look like from the side. The spiral arms are like the suburbs, where the stars are more spread out and the neighborhoods are quieter. They're made up of gas, dust, and stars that all move together in a circular pattern around the center. In between the spiral arms, there are vast regions of empty space, known as interstellar space. Here you can find wispy clouds of gas and dust, as well as some of the most spectacular sights in the galaxy, like massive star-forming regions and colorful nebulas. The Milky Way is also surrounded by a huge halo of dark matter, a mysterious substance that we can't see but can feel its gravitational effects on the galaxy. This halo helps to hold the galaxy together, and it extends out much farther than the visible parts of the Milky Way. And finally, here's the center. Here, the most action happens. In the center of the Milky Way, there's a supermassive black hole, which is about 4 million times more massive than our Sun, Sagittarius A-star. This black hole is responsible for some of the most energetic events in the galaxy, like the emission of powerful jets of energy. Remember the famous first photo of a black hole that flew across the internet? It was Sagittarius A-star. We managed to capture this black hole because it's the closest one to us. All in all, the center of the Milky Way is full of stars that are tightly packed together, forming a dense cluster. And it was here that astronomers recently made a new epic discovery. The heart of our Milky Way galaxy has been found. And boy oh boy, is it an old-timer. Hey, who are you calling an old-timer? Now, a team of brilliant scientists have found a cluster of 18,000 stars, born right after the Big Bang. Together, they form the ancient nucleus of our Milky Way. These stars date back to a time when our galaxy was just a wee little baby, a mere collection of proto-galaxies, huddling together to form a bigger and better thing. The scientists called it the poor old heart of our Milky Way. Can you believe it? These ancient stars are over 12.5 billion years old. And yeah, maybe they account for a mere 0.2% of our galaxy's total mass. But that doesn't matter. These stars are the building blocks that form the core around which all the other stars and planets took shape. But how exactly did they become this heart of the galaxy? How did they form? And how did we discover all that? To answer these questions, we'll have to plunge into the past. A very, very distant past. Once upon a time, about 14 billion years ago, there was the Big Bang. Our universe was born. At first, it was incredibly hot, but as time passed, things started to cool down and tiny pockets of gas began to clump together due to the force of gravity. These were the first galaxies. The Milky Way is one of these galaxies. It also started as a small clump of gas and dust, but over time, it began to take shape. The very first stars, protostars, began to form within the clouds and their gravitational pull caused more stuff to come together. This process continued for millions of years until the Milky Way was formed. But to learn the history of our galaxy in more detail, we need to find these protostars. And this is far from an easy task. Researchers have discovered the ancient heart using a neural network to analyze data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission. The Gaia Telescope is a space observatory launched by the European Space Agency in 2013. Its job is to map the position and movement of more than a billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. A billion stars! That's like counting every grain of sand on a beach. It's a huge job. But Gaia is up to the task. So how did they do it? The telescope has two cameras that take pictures of the sky at the same time. 
These cameras are so powerful that they can detect stars that are a million times fainter than those visible to the naked eye. Gaia takes many pictures of each star, and this allows us to track their movements with incredible precision. Thanks to the data collected by Gaia, astronomers are learning more about the structure and history of the Milky Way. They've discovered new details about the stars, including their ages, temperatures, and chemical compositions. Gaia is also helping astronomers search for exoplanets, or planets that orbit stars outside of our solar system. So, for this research, astronomers use Gaia and the most accurate 3D map of the Milky Way ever compiled. They had to analyze around 2 million stars to find the primordial group. One way that astronomers can determine the age of stars is by looking at its brightness and temperature. This way, they study a brief phase of stellar evolution known as subgiants. But imagine searching through the huge center of the Milky Way for the tiniest group of stars that are older than 12.5 billion years. This is like searching for a needle in a haystack. Luckily, they had a trump card up their sleeve – metals. You see, in the early universe, the cores of these stars were so hot and dense that they were able to smash atoms together to form heavier elements. These heavier elements are called metals in astronomy, even though they're not really metals like the ones we're used to. The more massive the star, the more metals it can create during its lifetime. When the life of the first stars came to an end, they made a big boom and scattered these metals all around. Metals mix with other gases and join the newborn stars, and so on. As time passed and the universe got older, more and more generations of stars formed, each one richer in metals than the last. Can you guess what that means? The older the stars, the less metals they should have. So now it was time for some galactic archaeology. The team taught the AI to find the metal-poorest, most ancient stars, and it succeeded. It found a huge cluster, and all of them were within 30,000 light-years from the center of the Milky Way. Then, they separated out the stars that formed the ancient heart from the stars that originated in a dwarf galaxy. And finally, we were left with the original stars around which the Milky Way grew. This discovery is incredible. It reveals the remnants of the Milky Way's earliest history. It turns out that simulations of the Milky Way's formation were spot on. The old stars existed just where they were predicted to be. Just imagine, the stars that remember our universe as a baby are still hanging out in the center of our galaxy. Isn't that mind-boggling? So why is this such a big deal? Well, by studying these ancient stars, scientists have discovered some incredible things. For example, they've confirmed that the Milky Way's core began its life stationary and only picked up rotational speed as it grew. In other words, the Milky Way formed from the merging of three or four proto-galaxies, and these stars were its initial core. But even after billions of years and multiple mergers, the heart of the Milky Way has remained intact, like a sheltered oasis in the midst of cosmic chaos. All in all, the Milky Way is a vast and complex place, full of mysteries and wonders waiting to be discovered. It's a true marvel of the universe, and we're lucky to call it our home. But the research isn't over yet. Scientists are eager to learn even more about the formation of the Milky Way and hope to study these ancient stars in even greater detail. Who knows what secrets they might uncover? Maybe they'll even discover what types of supernovas exploded to create the elements we see today. So get ready, space rat! The adventure is just beginning! Arr! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.